Let's start with a truth every serious gardener knows. The life of your plants begins and ends in your soil. You can buy the most expensive seeds, install perfect irrigation, and follow every planting calendar to the letter. But if your soil is dead, your garden will struggle. What if I told you there's a free, endlessly renewable liquid that can bring even lifeless, dusty soil back to life, turning it into dark, crumbly, living earth again? It's not a fancy product, not a bottled miracle grow. It's something nature has provided all along, water used the right way. Now before you roll your eyes, this isn't just water your plants more. Most gardeners already water plenty. The secret isn't the liquid itself, it's how you use it to spark biology, feed microbes and rebuild structure. Let's break down how this free liquid, applied with understanding and precision, can restore your soil from dry dust to thriving ecosystem. The real problem isn't lack of water, it's that your soil can't hold it. When soil turns to dust, it's not simply dry, it's actually hydrophobic, meaning water. Well, it just runs off instead of soaking in. You've probably seen this before. You pour water and it just sits there on the surface or, you know, slides away. Meanwhile, the roots underneath remain thirsty. This sort of thing happens when organic matter and microbial life disappear. In living soil, microscopic glues made by fungi and bacteria bind particles together, forming these stable aggregates that trap both air and moisture. But in dead, compacted soil, those glues are unfortunately gone. So the first goal isn't to add more water. It's actually to teach the soil to drink again. To do that, you need to combine water with biology and organic matter in specific small repeated doses that, well, awaken the soil life instead of drowning it. Just think of it as rehydration therapy for the land. Step one, make your water biologically active. You know, plain water hydrates, but living water heals. You can turn ordinary tap or rainwater into a microbial inoculant just by adding simple natural ingredients that feed soil organisms. One of the most effective and free options is compost extract, not tea, which, by the way, requires aeration and a fair bit of time. Here's how to make it uh, take one part high-quality compost or worm castings, place it in a mesh bag and swish it in five parts non-chlorinated water for about two to three minutes. Apply this directly to dry soil, ideally early morning or late afternoon when temperatures are moderate. This step alone can transform soil texture in just a few weeks. The microbes you're adding produce glues like glomalin that rebuild the soil's crumb structure, allowing future rain or irrigation to soak in deeply. Step 2. Use short frequent watering cycles instead of long soaks. One of the biggest mistakes gardeners make is deep watering dead soil. When you overwater, it just, well, runs off or pools, suffocating roots and washing away those all-important nutrients. In the early stages of soil restoration, it's best to use smaller, more frequent doses. Honestly, a good rule of thumb is about 10 minutes of watering every 8 hours for the first 3 to 5 days, rather than doing just one heavy session. If you're using drip irrigation, you'll want to aim for about 1 to 2 litres per square metre per cycle. The real goal here is to keep the top 5 centimetres of soil consistently moist, not soaked, so microbial colonies can establish themselves and get to work breaking down residues. Once that layer comes alive, it begins to wick moisture downward naturally. Step 3. Feed the microbes what they need to multiply. 
Moisture awakens microbes, but food keeps them alive. Every time you water, you can lightly feed the soil organisms by adding a simple mix of carbon and nitrogen sources to your water. One of the most effective ratios for a microbial kick is one tablespoon of unsulfured molasses plus one tablespoon of fish hydrolysate per five liters of water. Now, if fish hydrolysate isn't available, you can actually use a mixture of diluted cow urine or fermented plant juice. Just mix it at a ratio of 1 to 20 with water. This concoction serves as both microbial food and a mild fertilizer. Quite handy, don't you think? Apply this mixture once a week, preferably in the evening, and within a month, you'll notice something remarkable. Dusty soil begins to darken and clump together. It's a sure sign of life returning, a transformation that's truly rewarding to witness. After applying the mixture, always follow up with a layer of mulch. You can use grass clippings, leaves or straw. This step is crucial, really, as it helps retain moisture and further enriches the soil. Step 4. Test, observe and adjust. Healthy soil has a moist, earthy smell, not sour or rotten. When you squeeze a handful, it should hold together loosely, not crumble into dust. To assess your soil's health, just use your senses, give it a sniff and feel the texture. That way you'll really get to know what's happening beneath the surface. If it's sticky or smells anaerobic, you've overwatered or compacted it. So cut back and let the microbes breathe, and honestly, your soil should bounce back in no time. So, here's a simple field test you can try. Just push a metal rod or even a sturdy stick into your soil. If it slides in easily to about 15 to 20 centimeters, you're definitely on the right track. But, uh, you know, if you, if you feel some resistance, it's a sign to increase your biological watering cycles and perhaps reduce how much you disturb the soil. Just remember, rebuilding soil biology isn't something that happens overnight. It's really a cumulative process. Every watering and every feeding, well, it all adds another layer of structure and life to your soil. In just six to eight weeks, even soil that started as a pale, lifeless powder can become dark, crumbly, and absolutely full of visible fungal threads and earthworms. The real miracle here is free, but you know, it does demand consistency. The so-called free liquid that restores dead soil isn't some secret formula. It's simply water, used intelligently, enriched with life, and applied with patience. There's no shortcut, and honestly, no bagged product that can ever replace consistent, biologically active moisture. Ah, whether you're rehabilitating a degraded garden bed, restoring compacted clay, or preparing a new growing area, this process truly works wonders. It rebuilds nature's own systems from the ground up, you see. Now, remember this. Biology builds structure. Structure holds moisture, and moisture sustains biology. It's a beautiful cycle, isn't it? Keep that cycle going, and your soil will never return to dust again. If you found this guide helpful, hit that subscribe button on the Soil Doctor channel and share this video with another gardener who's struggling with poor soil. Together we can bring the ground beneath our feet back to life, one watering can at a time.